Hello everyone, War Dog Knife Sharpening here. Today we're looking at this bench made, uh, made in the USA. It's the Nimravis, the 140BK. So this is a tactical style knife. It's uh, made of 154 CM steel. Let's open the box and take a peek. Set this off to the side. Okay, this is a, a very nice tactical knife. It's hard to find knives that are this well designed. The sheath has got a leg tie on it right here. So it's going to hold the sheath in, in position. You got a Velcro strap here on the back. If you want to hook it on your a quick hook up on your belt, there you go. You're ready to go. This piece right here, you can hook it onto a pack. Um, it's got Molly hookups on the back side, so you hook it up to Molly if you want. And then here, we I'm going to set this out of the way. So right here, it's it's clicked clipped in. Unbutton it. My knife blade, it, it has been greased just to protect it, so um, it may look a little hazy, a little whitish colored, but I put a little bit of snow seal on it just to protect it from rust. So this, uh, this is the Benchmade Nim Ravis, the 140BK, it's got a drop point blade. I really like the drop point design. That's my favorite design on fixed blade knives. Uh, you can't go wrong with the drop point. You see the shape of that. So these are made in the USA. They're made in Oregon. That's a bonus. Any knife that's made in the USA is usually a good quality knife. So it fits really well in the hand. It's got uh, 6061 T6 aluminum handles so they're very solid lightweight the overall length of the Nim Ravis is 9.45 inches I'll slide this out of the way so end to end 9.45 inches the blade length right here you're, you're talking four and a half inches so that's pretty close to perfect uh, might be a hair long for everyday carry, but um, pretty close to perfect on the length. So the handle thickness right in here is point, uh, 0.58 of an inch. So it's, it's a little over half an inch thick. 0.12 of an inch. So you got a really thin blade, makes it easy to get a sharp edge on when you have a thin blade like this. The steel is the 154 CM. It says it right here on the side. Right there where my thumb is. Uh, the Benchmade logo is on the other side. Right here. The butterfly. They got a pretty good design going. Uh, very recognizable. When you see that, you know it's a Benchmade. So let's see on the box. Yeah, they got the the butterfly right there. So bring it in a little closer so you can see it. All right, it's getting kind of blurry. So okay, um, it's a coated blade. Color is black. You can also get this knife in a Tanto blade style. Um, the sheath is it's a perfect um, sheath to carry around, lightweight, durable. Um, attach it to your pack, whatever you want to do. It's a, it's a nice sheath. It's got that locking clip, the leg tie. It's got the Benchmade logo right there. It says Benchmade, made in the USA with their little butterfly logo. Um, this knife is made for tactical use just the design it's 
it's a drop point. It's probably made for um, maybe a thrusting motion. It's, it's fairly long, so you could do swiping motions with it. But it is a tactical knife. Um, be good to carry if you're in the military, also for hunting purposes or doing stuff in the outdoors. Um, what else? So it's made by the 154 CM, which it says it right here, is made by a company called Crucible out of the United States. And uh, it's a modified 440C steel is what it is. And that's what the 154 CM is. And uh, it's a stainless steel. It's a very good stainless steel. It's got uh, a hardness, an HRC of 58 to 61. So it's a, uh, this is stronger than most of your stainless steels. This is something you're going to find in your high, high quality knives. A lot of people like to use the 154 CM in their, in their good quality knives. And this roughness you see on here, that's not the knife. That's just the grease that I got on there to, to protect the blade. And uh, so what else do we have? This is a common steel for, for high quality knives. The, the steel is used in ball bearings, valve ports, um, other heavy uses like that. So it is a good quality steel. So what do I think of it? I think it's a great knife. It's, it's lightweight, it's thin. It would be easy to conceal if you wanted to conceal it. Um, The overall length being 9.45 inches, that's a good length on it. The color is black, so it's a, it's stealthy. It's not going to um, reflect in the sun or anything. It's got like a matte black finish. The only thing that's, that would reflect is this grease coating I got on there. Or the, it's snow seal, actually. So, uh, I'm happy with the knife. I like it. I haven't got to use it a whole lot. Feels good in the hand, the jimping keeps your thumb in place, you're not going to slip off, and then that, that big curl right here, that's going to keep your finger from slipping forward onto the blade if you had to thrust into something, it's, a, it's like a safety right there. So in the back is a place to put a lanyard, you tie a lanyard to that little hole that way you don't lose it if it comes out of the sheath if you have the sheath open or something and then that way you don't drop it so war dog knife sharpening the review on this bench made nimravis 140 bk with the drop drop point blade the 154 cm so I'd say if you if you can get one, get one. They're a good quality knife. Benchmade puts it out. Uh, War Dog Knife Sharpening Knife Review. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.